We'll guide you through how to use a phone as a security camera. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. You can do this with an iPhone or an Android, it doesn't matter. To go and get started, open up the App Store or the Play Store like so. The app we're going to get is called the Alfred Camera. So we can get that on an iPhone. You can press search at the bottom right and search for it. In the Google Play, you can tap search at the bottom and go and type it in. Once you've got it, we can go and tap open like so. We can press get started and what we need to do is sign in. I'll go and sign in with Google. After you've signed in, you can choose what you're going to use it for. I'll just go and press skip. That is premium, I'll press the cross for now though. Go onto our other device and we can then go and open it up. And what we need to do is go and sign in. What we're gonna to need to do though, is make sure we sign into the same account. So in this case, I'll use the same Google account for me, but it may be different for you. So we can press get started and I can press continue with Google. I'll need to go and give some different permissions here. I'll press continue and I can give access here as well. I can go and switch it on and then I can press back. At the bottom here, I'll press set up later. And what I can do at the top here is make sure we've got viewer selected like so. And then on this device, it's already got the camera open. If it isn't, you can press the arrow at the top and select camera on the device you want to use as it. And then what we could do is go and press live. And I've now gone and connected to it, as you can see, and we're using it as a security camera. I've now put it in place and I can open it up and go and preview it. What you should do though, is make sure the device is charging as otherwise it eventually will go and run out. You've got some different options at the bottom here. What you can do is if I go and close off this here, is you can go and press events. And what you can do is go and turn on events. And so when it goes and captures something, it will go and appear here. If I go and tap events, you can see one's now appeared there. So it's that simple to go and use. It's really great.